Hi there, I'm Chris. Welcome to Jumpstart. Today we're going to be chatting about how the National Energy Skills Center, the NESC, can help you jumpstart your career in the energy and industrial sectors, or maybe even start your own business. I think I need a jump start. Today we will be chatting with Andre Supersad, the instructor for automotive services. Hi Andre, welcome to Jumpstart. Yes, good morning, Crystal, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. Okay. It's good to have you. Yes, thank you, thanks for having me. Andre, are you a morning person or do you need help to jumpstart your day? Uh, I am a morning person, however, I do need something to jumpstart my day, so coffee and definitely some form of cricks. <laughs> some form of cricks. Yeah. Anyway. Vital supply, can't do without yes, it. Yes, vital supply. Thank yes. God we didn't lose it in lockdown, right? Yeah, amen for that. <laughs> All right, Andre, let's jump right into it. Yeah. Andre, how long have you been an automotive technician? Approximately 15 years. Tell us about your journey into the field. Into the field? Um, well, it all started, I guess, when I was going to primary school at Rosie Boys RC in Port of Spain. And every day in the PTSC bus with my mom when we were traveling, I will always be drawing the vehicles next to us. So that, oh, she actually saw that I had a passion for vehicles. I always need to modify the vehicles, like put on an additional spoiler and put on additional rims. So she always knew I wanted to be in the automotive industry and she helped me pursue that, that career path. So have you worked in industry? Yeah, um, since I was 18 years old. After your levels, I jumped straight into a, a garage and from there on went to part-time schools. Um, I did my diploma in motor vehicle engineering and then eventually started to work at NESC as well. Um, but before that, I worked majority on the major development was at Master Machinery Limited, where I was a truck technician for approximately seven years. What made you decide to get into education? Uh, personally, I love uh, interacting with youths. Like in church, I was on the youth board as well. And we always had a rapport because I was like a, a kind of bridge generation between the older heads and the new upcoming technological <laughs> IT babies. So I was, you know, I, I was naturally, um, I could have dangled anywhere. And I was kind of um, forming this link between the technological age. So that naturally um, led me to be involved with a lot of youth. And I saw that the seeds that you sow um, into the youth, that they it blossom into something beautiful and they will eventually bear fruit as well. So for me, naturally teaching is one of my passions. And thank you so much for your service. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah. So tell us about the Automotive Technician Diploma. What do you learn inside of there? Um, almost everything you need to know about vehicles. You, you get to, to realize it's not magic when you put your, um, your foot on the accelerator pedal and the vehicle goes and how it magically comes from this liquid that you pump into a gas tank and how, it, how do you get this acceleration. So they cover the fundamentals of science, um, physics behind it. Um, you'll, eventually you'll be able to identify each component, how they function, and once you know how they function, then you'll be able to repair them. So that, that's essentially what, what you learn in the program, how to repair motor vehicles. What are the job opportunities available upon completion of the program? The, the, the job opportunities are not limited um, except by the, the uh, ambition of the technicians coming out. You can work at one of the largest companies in Trinidad, um, Massey Motors, Massey Machinery Limited, Ansa Motors, um, Southern Sales. Um, also, besides the working at a company, you can work in a, a role and role of dealership as an apprentice or a trainee or even a, a, a technician, an in-house technician. But primarily, you could essentially start your own business by entrepreneurship. Everything. Yeah. everything. And that's uh -huh. like the most um, self rewarding. Uh, it is one of the most difficult journeys, but you could do almost anything. And it's not limited to um, um, just working for somebody as well. You could specialize in certain things auto electrical, auto air conditioning, um, engine building and repairs, transmission specialist, 
um, it has no limit really, you know. Awesome. So the sky, the sky is the limit. The sky is the limit, literally. Yeah. <laughs> literally, that's awesome. Tell me about your approach to teaching and learning. Well, currently, um, we have a blended learning process mm -hmm. where um, we conduct. Um, based on the lockdown, we have to offer online courses, but there is a practical for every single unit that we teach. Mm -hmm. So even though you have an online exam, which is multiple choice on a lockdown browser, mm -hmm. you will have to do practical assessments as well. So you're getting the hands on as well as the theory behind it. But normally we cover the theory first and then go into the workshop and then do the practical. So when a, a student comes out, they will have the knowledge behind every action that they perform physically. So it is theory then practical based. That, that is our approach right now with this blending learning. How have the students been responding to that? Well, personally, they love to socialize. And I, with the lockdown, we got kind of detached socially from others and, and peers and from forming new friendships and relationships. So we kind of delved into social media being our um, way of, of socializing. So they personally love practicals. They love to come out. The hardest part about practicals is not letting them carry out the functions. They actually carry out the functions faster and finish the task to go back in the classroom and socialize while they're writing up the report. Socially, um, we let them interact, at least online. I, I, I don't stop the, the cross-talk and conversation. So we let them communicate because that's what we need to have right now. You know? I hear, well, with all that social um, interaction yeah. or virtual social virtual. interaction and yeah. then the practicals, I'm sure you have a funny story to share with oh, us. Yeah. What happens in that classroom? It happens daily because we always try to have an icebreaker or a two-hour session, you know, as I would like to call it. Um, because when you wake up in the morning, you know, um, you don't want to just dive into this technical thing and your brain's still throwing out. Um, so we try to socialize a little bit. So every day is something new, you know, um, the, the, the um, closest one I could think of. Um, you really have to be there to see it, but we were working on clustering systems and we had to, the, the end story of it was first time I was, I actually got to see a trainee using a mop to wipe a wall because um, the fluid sprayed out onto the wall, um, which was, nobody was injured, Every, everything was safe. But it was just a, a funny thing where to see a student with a mop mopping a wall, that was like <laughs> an inverse um, universe, you know? So that was the funniest thing I could say, you okay. know, off the top of my head. All right. Andre, yeah. what advice would you give to a student who might be on the fence about applying? They haven't yet clicked that apply button. Yeah. What would you tell um, them? I would say they should do it, especially when they have a doubt in their mind what career they would want to pursue, especially for job stability. Because as we said before, um, the amount of jobs that you could potentially have either working for a company, working for a business or a sole trader, or even starting your own business. Um, if you want to, uh, at least if you have the passion to facilitate your passion, we are here. Because all of the instructors, uh, at least for the automotive, I can say knowing them personally, we have a passion for it. We, we come up every day, we go the extra mile, we send pictures and videos of our own vehicles to, to get the, the students a little um, hyped up. Um, so we have that passion and we want to share that passion and help them grow. So I would say apply. Um, they have a time where um, they, they'll just give it a Lisa dry run or share with other experiences from past trainees and hopefully that'll, that'll tip them over the edge to click that button. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much, Andrew. It's been a pleasure yeah. having you on okay. Jumpstart. Yes, thanks, Ms. Kisu. Take care, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us on this episode of Jumpstart. Head over to the description box below and click on the link where you can get more information about the program and apply. If you have any questions at all, just slide into our DMs on Facebook or Instagram. We'll be happy to answer any and all questions that you have. Until next time, stay safe and bye for now.